As we are leaving the gallery, we also face two other portraits. Almost out of serendipity building this exhibition, all the connections started to come together, from time to time intuitively, from time to time uh, in a deliberate way. But you, you know, as you're leaving the room, you leave Edgar Degas dancer, you leave Lynette dancer, and you encounter these two photographs by the American photographer Robert Mapletock, where you are here a little bit again, like the Degas sculpture, a very classical image, this photography of the, the a man body very much remind what could be a classical sculpture, a classical Greek sculpture, or just the photo of a dancer. So you bounce from Degas dancer, Lynette dancer, to an image by Mapletop that evokes a dancer. The notion of portrait, of portraiture, impossible portraiture, even real or fictionalized, uh, or a portrait coming out of the world of culture exists here too, with Mapletop, with his, his character in a bathtub. So character in a bathtub, it's a, you know, it's a photo of a man, it could be just that. But if you contextualize this image in the forest of signs, the forest of image that comes from art history, that also can send you back to a very classical, famous painting by uh, David, which is uh, the death of Marat during the French Revolution. So here, when you leave this room, you have different level of portraiture that show how, through different medium, different approach, the complexity of representation is embedded in the work of this artist. Early on, when we were walking through the exhibition, we talked about Marisa Mertz and the, the pattern that she invented in her work through the, uh, the weaving structure with the copper wire. And I was mentioning this artist Sol Lewitt, who, like her, almost at the same time, was challenging drawings, challenging the location of drawing, challenging the materiality of drawing, and also challenging the durability of a work. And here you have this work that I was mentioning by Sol Lewitt, which is actually the same time frame in art history, where the drawing here is actually a classical drawing, abstract and repetitive, like the gesture of Marisa Mertz uh, weaving the, the copper wires, but here directly on the wall, creating a pattern, sending us back also to the tradition, not the tradition of Marisa Mertz, of daily activity, but here the tradition of maybe high art and fresco, as this work only exists on the, directly on the wall. A work that uh, is not vulnerable, like Marisa Mertz's work is, because of Marisa Mertz's work materiality, but here because one day this uh, pencil on the wall will just disappear.